Mom, you want to see one of my custom, not see, but hear about my custom FNAF character I made? What? Okay, skin and fur color is brown, eye color red, species is animatronic, African wild dog, gender male, accessories, top hat, bow tie, microphone, time of creation, slash release date is 12th of November 2020. Name Max and location is Fazbear African Wildlife. So, the, basically, one of the only things that most of these locations will have similar to each other would be a bird, unless it is a. a what's the word? Aquatic location, you know? Mm hmm. Then a bunny. We can also have the aquatic location can have a bunny since the Fanatic members have sea bunnies. A non canon book, I Nothing. I'm wondering what I was clinking. Oh. Wait. I was just trying to figure out what you found. I found them all. I found them all. I forgot to take them out of my bed. Nice. Love you. What about the security guard? Oh, 
I'm going to put them out to secure those. No, I have no idea what he's talking about even. I'm assuming so they're making stories, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the kids are just like, their mommies are like peeping on his blankets. Like their mommies did when they were little. Mm-hmm. That's why Tiki and Dime used to do it all the time too, because they just put it on the ground. Yeah, I know. Who knows? I told him if I had gone bedding, but I don't know if he did. Because if I got a normal one, I probably need to cancel it. Realize it's almost done, but. I don't know. No, that is our bedding cycle on the spin. Oh, uh, okay. That's the spin of our bedding cycle doing it. So it is on bedding, so I shouldn't fuck up my washer or nothing. It's just the bedding factor is stupid sounding. I think it's stupid having you there early anyways unless he's going to do it every fucking week for the next fucking three or four weeks. Always want him every day to make sure that the shit in like morning mm. gets done before it fucking gets done. going to do this every fucking Tuesday day? Yeah, I guess it's a Tuesday when they show up. <laughs> Because you got to understand, Adam's going to get tired of just doing it every now and then. Mm -hmm. I told him that today. I go, this fucking tomorrow, my schedule for tomorrow, every Tuesday, I go, I'm not, I'm not doing this shit every now and then. I told you that. Right. He basically wants normal hours if that's if maintenance is all what he's gonna be. If I'm maintenance, I want my normal hours. He retires. Mm -hmm. Once he retires, then I'll come in at four o'clock in the morning. Hey, you bitch, basically. But until then, he's your head maintenance. Mm -hmm. I mean, what happened to him staying until, I don't know, 11 or noon or whatever? You didn't even schedule that, but you scheduled me to, to be here at 4.
I go, come on. I go, then you got fucking Bill, Will, whatever. The fuck. I love you guys. You're trying to make it away. This dude don't retire, actually. And he just cuts in his hours just get cut and he becomes your secondary maintenance. Adam, you might just be probably going to be secondary. I don't know what the fuck he's doing with the uh, retirement. He's not getting paid more than the regular secondary maintenance. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, turn around, I told Bring that going. Fucking will ain't done shit. I <coughs> really ain't done nothing extra. Well, he's gonna pay the same as you. I go, but yet, that's what he was hired again for. So you might as well fire his ass and tell him no. Technically, he's gonna be getting maintenance pay. Because you guys all get more for being maintenance. I go maintenance pay gets more than what a regular cashier and shit does, and I know this. He should get regular crew pay, so that's better than what he does is regular crew work. Of our appearances, I don't need to have him do all your extra cleaning. That's what he needs to do. Fuck them dishes, have your back line do your. He needs to be out doing extra shit like you hired him back for. Uh, it's called you. To, to, you don't want to filter. Or, it's called you uh, refuse to do the extra shit too. I go, what? She refusing to do that? If that's the case, be rid of his ass. Either that or make him nothing but crew. To where he does your extra bitch shit that crew would do. I go, make him crew. Give him the pay cut. I go and tell him, here, you don't want to do truck, you don't want to filter, so here. I go, I wouldn't trust him on filtering. Why, well, I think he actually don't have to do it. He ain't going to tell you that. I go, but that fucking truck, you can get up and raise the ass and do it. Get the fuck off my maintenance team. You're me. I go, yeah, it's my as well be mine. Mm hmm. Dennis is here. You know, I'm secondary. Dennis is basically working secondary hours. I go, you know, I'm. Let's see. How do I put this, Brent? Because he's working secondary hours yet. He's had maintenance. I'm supposed to be secondary maintenance yet. Yet even them days he brings you in at five or six, you're doing head maintenance those hours. I'm basically head head maintenance because you come to me. I go, you can't say you don't because you've been doing it all day today. Oh, Adam, I want you to do this and I want him to do that. Okay. And your head maintenance is supposed to be the one getting you prepared for inspections. You're the one doing it, so you're basically head maintenance. So I'm head maintenance, but I ain't getting paid for it. Or you can say that raise was my head maintenance raise. That raise was my 90 day evaluation raise. Mm -hmm. I don't have head maintenance as title, as my title. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right, you're right. Well, I know you. I go, when am I going to get head maintenance as my title in the pay? Because even if he don't retire, he might have become your secondary maintenance because you got to give him secondary maintenance hours. Because he can't do head maintenance hours anymore because of his health, according to him. I go, Brent, if I would have told you no, or well, even told you oh, no, no either you might just start training Adam for a fucking manager I, know, I could have been down at the other McDonald's making $18 an hour already 
as a manager, shift manager at that. At least 17. Which would have been better than what you're making at maintenance doing all of his bitch shit. I know that's two dollars more an hour than what I'm making now. Here, so it's the point. I go at maintenance or ship manager. One or the other's got to happen. I don't think you got to be ship manager. It can be kitchen manager. And technically, it ain't his fault. I get the point, because you can't move him up to head maintenance, because you still had one. But you was the one hiring head maintenance, because your head maintenance told you you were, mm -hmm. he was retiring. If you knew there was a chance he was not going to retire, you should have mm -hmm. had that listed in there as yep. secondary maintenance. Head maintenance, head opportunity for head maintenance, but might turn out to be secondary. I go, what you should have put on there. I go, and then when you hired me and told me uh, I'm going to be head maintenance. Or just had it as maintenance, know. period. And not had head maintenance you on it. Kept it out. I go, and you had Bill thinking he was. Until I had to get in his fucking face. And you basically were going to have anyone else that you apply Anybody and interview for that, job, for that job. Thinking that you know. they're hired as head maintenance. You need to tell them no then. Or what? Is everybody up and it's uh, running for head maintenance? And you're trying, that's not what you told me. And you're trying to get enough maintenance men now so you can fucking do it that way when fucking he retires so you can decide who you want for your head maintenance? I go, because that is not what you told me, period. You told me that I was going to be head maintenance as soon as he retired. That's what you told me. Now, is that the truth or not? Yeah, I go, then you, when you hire these other maintenance people, and you need to come up with another thing, take that off, and put a uh, hiring secondary maintenance. Or just hiring maintenance, period. Or hiring maintenance. I go, come on. I go, it's fucking summer already, and you could technically have it, yeah. Another person here will be four days a week, maybe not eight hours a day, but. They could still do four or five. Four to six hours a day, more than what fucking Bill's doing. And do more maintenance work than what Bill does. Do way more than what he's, what he does in a week, still do in a day. If they're good. If not, it'll be two days. Two I swear that he has to be related to either you or Tammy Brink to not get rid of him. And I go, you all have, you have to do something with him. He's not doing nothing for us. Nothing. He's basically Actually, doing he's your dishes. Back. Because every time we you tell him to clean something or mop something, it's so fucking wet and have water on the fucking floor. That you guys have to go back and redo it anyways. That you have to either tell them to go back and do it fucking three or four times. Then tell him, oh, yeah, you need to, you need to suck that water up, you know, or, you know, mop that water up. Because if you tell him to mop, he's going to do the exact same thing as him. Twice as much water on the floor. And then you got to keep going back to him. And tell him, nope, you gotta eat. Still gotta clean. Still gotta do it. Still gotta do it. Then you get tired of doing that. And then you gotta just say, fuck it and do it yourself. So then you put yourself behind. Or you say, Adam, will you do this? And he's getting it. So you're putting me behind. Either way, he's putting us behind, so you might as well get rid of his ass. Get rid of him. I go, you're supposed to come in after I left. What happened with that? I go, what, Miss Tammy? You don't want him there either? Mm. I go, because I don't want him on my shifts. She don't want him on her shifts either. I don't want him on mine either. I go, well, he needs to get the fuck off the goddamn payroll. He ain't doing us no good. 
So I keep telling him that, but he don't listen. I go, I know. I go, I think he's scared of uh, getting either fired or sued. I think he's related to him. Or he's related to him. Because I don't know, because he won't answer. I go, he's related to him then. Either that or it's his ex-wife's family and she still hasn't wrapped around her little fucking finger. He turned around and walked away. I go, oh, Tammy, you hit the nail on the head right there. He goes, what do you mean? I go, so you said that? He turned around and walked away. Exactly what you said is the truth. And it's called he's trying to pay less child support by doing whatever she fucking wants. She's just going to learn to wet the same amount. She's not going to lower it. Because that's why he's going to get because he ain't going to go golf, 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 but like he likes to. She found out that's what he was doing, so she went and... And asked for more charge support. Yep. Because he had extra money left over, and he ain't supposed to after he takes care of his kids according to her. Yep. Let me guess. Took him to court. She got it. Took it. She got a lawyer. I told him to get one. He didn't. I go, oh, it's his fault. Mm -hmm. He's pretty much don't want to get a lawyer because he wants to keep her happy. You're not together. You don't have to keep that bitch happy. It's God, he's afraid she's going to take the kids away from him and this and that. You take the kids and you're going to be able to see him. I go, then you take that bitch to court. And you keep taking her to court until you're able to see him. And they are technically or, teenagers anyways. To where most judges will let them have a say. Custody. She was one of their teen, basically teenagers anyway. I go, then the court's going to say, oh, you want to stay with your dad? You want to stay with you? Do you? Mm -hmm. Do you? And it's up to them to do it. The court's going to ask them which parent they want to stay with then. I go, Hope if you go into a custody battle. Has a mommy got in her head? Nope. Whichever one she got in her head will not stay with him. I go, he needs to quit DJ George for this fucking... Let her be. Well, let me guess. When something breaks, he goes over there and still fixes it, don't he? Yeah. Well, fuck that. So I have to go fucking pay somebody. I know it's different if she was actually treating, you know, him how a human should be treated. Then I would say, yeah, go ahead and keep, you know, help her out when she needs it. But she's acting like that, fuck me. Or her fall in her fucking face and then laugh at her after she does, after it happens. My God, he's just as guilty. Because he's doing it for her. Well, we only got to go Friday because his daddy took him to 